Babe, good morning. You're dressed for work already? Yes. Uh, okay, let me quickly make you breakfast. That won't be necessary. Mommy needs to work as You make it sound like they're going to give you a query. You own the company, remember? And that's not enough reason for me to go to work late. There's a phrase called leadership by example. I know, but can you just please make today an exemption for me? And you would have made today an exemption by waking up early. But you know my condition it was never like this. You make it sound that, like, as if this is a problem. How are you acting like this? What will now happen if it gets to the second or third trimester? Why are you sounding like this? All I need now is your support and not this energy. And that is exactly what I'm doing by going to work to make us some money to support this family. So what about the breakfast? Already know. Babe, wait! <laughs> Babe! Why are you Wait, I don't like this. Baby, wait. Baby, wait. I'm late. I'm going to go in. Oh, I Oh, what is it again? I'm not comfortable with this at all. Comfortable with what? Going to work on an empty stomach. This is exactly how ulcer starts. I will not have ulcer. Hmm. I'll be fine. Babe, I don't like it. I don't like the idea of you not eating. It will make you start eating out. Or oh, have you been eating out? Oh. You should think very carefully before you respond. Can I go to work in peace now? Uh -uh. Babe! Babe! It's obvious he has been eating out. This is why he doesn't care if I make breakfast or not. And he knows how I feel about eating out. He knows my stance on it. Good morning, sir. Who are you? I asked a question. Who are you? I am Millicent Thomas, your new secretary. You seem nervous. Yes. Oh, no, I mean, no, sir. I am not nervous. And you're acting confused, too. You know your job requires a lot of focus and concentration, right? I understand, sir. I am not always like this. So you're just overwhelmed? Yes, I am. You know, first impression is a lasting impression, right? Yes, I know, sir. I'll make a good one. I am just overwhelmed. Mm. You don't need to be overwhelmed, okay? We are one big family here. All you need to do is your job, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So, have you sent my shadow? Hello, my shadow, have you sent it? Yes, yes, sir. I've, I've, I sent it to your mail. I sent it to your mail, sir. Okay, so you can just tell me. Please relax and do your job. Yes, sir. Like I say, you should relax and do your job, okay? Come in. I was about to what call me? Baby. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> what, 
What are you doing here? You're surprised to see me. Who then were you about to call? My, my, my secretary. I wanted her to just... Uh, Whatever you wanted her to do can wait. I go to lunch. But you didn't have to. I had to. Being pregnant is not enough reason for me to neglect my wifey duties. I am truly sorry for that. Okay? No, 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 no. I am the one who needs to apologize for being too hard on you. I shouldn't have. Stop talking. Okay? I'm about to dish your food. Now. But I'm, I'm working. I just need to finish some things here. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. This is um, more like a feast. <laughs> Kings don't eat. They feast. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. I think that we should uh, quarrel more often so I can get you to the place. <laughs> well, if it makes you happy, then I'll make it a routine. No, 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 no. Cooking like this is back drinking. I don't want that for my wife. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking about back drinking, I have an idea. Okay. The the door. The door. <laughs> I would take care of it. Hmm? Oh, I dare you to resist me. Who in his right senses will? I cannot. I will not try to.
This is beautiful. You love it? I love it. But it's nothing compared to your beauty. <laughs> Thank you. No, why would you be saying thank you? I should be the one saying thank you. For what exactly? For today, for coming to the office and treating me like a king. Oh, you mean the food or the food? Okay. <laughs> okay. I think that you have a lot to be thankful for. Hmm? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Something like what exactly? don't know. <laughs> I can show you. Okay, I know, I know that my wife is nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. But trust me, I'm equal to the task, whatever you bring in. Are you? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Of course. Mm. Are you sure? You know that. I... <laughs> what? what? Are you, are you okay? <laughs> Babe? Babe? <laughs> Why am I always the last to know things? I sent you the mail, sir. You did? Yes, sir. I sent you the mail three days ago before me today. You did? At um, 11.52 a.m. I like how precise you are. I love to be detailed, sir. Reminds me of Veronica. Just um, wondering why she left without saying a word. I haven't heard from her till now. The HR told me about Veronica and how she's good at her job. She loves her job and she does it excellently well. Just um, wondering why she left without saying a word. I treated her like a family. People can be very unpredictable, sir. You're right. Yeah, I'm just wondering if you are going to do the same thing. <sighs> sir, I'm not, I'm not Veronica. Loyalty is everything to me. I guess we'll find out somehow very soon. <laughs> yes, we will. The problem is um, how to get me a PA that is competent enough to handle things around here. Like Veronica, some of us can multitask. Oh no, 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 no. Don't worry, I had already told the HR to find me someone who is competent. I mean, if he can find you, then he can find someone else who is very good at their job. Yeah. Alright, we're done here. Thank you. <laughs> you you can go. Thank you. <laughs> so, Ozyama, how's she feeling now? I don't know. The doctor said she has a condition called um, hyperemesis gondorum or whatever <laughs> it, it calls it uh hg that's what it's called that's what we layman commonly refer to as um morning sickness basically oh then my wife's own should be called something else but because what she has is a severe all day sickness <laughs> ah you see this love thing eh? is strong if it was someone else behaving like this, I would not para for the person they mad. Which a warrior. Go para now. I mean, no biggie give me No, but this is this is too much now. We can't even we can't even stay together again. We can't even spend time. It's, it's becoming embarrassing. No. What's that? I don't appreciate your tone right there. You see, you're beginning to shade your wife. And as a relationship expert and your best friend, I'll tell you this for free. It's a beginning of something very sinister. Why are you sounding as a decian, as a tiktoker? Which one be sinister? I agree, but then you shouldn't see that way. 
I mean, you are supposed to be with her every step of the way. But that is exactly what I have been doing. Agreed. Agreed. But look, you should be enjoying these things, not enjoying it. Two different things. It can be one, never both. All right. I'll do everything I can to enjoy it and not to endure it. Better. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Just a matter of preference. Remember that. What is this now? This is disgusting. And For how long are we going to continue like this now? This is the tenth month. Hmm? When you minus ten from thirty six, you do the math. That's how long we're going to be doing this. And plus, we have we have three other rooms. You can sleep there, okay? We are man and wife. We can't be staying inside separate rooms or under one roof. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, at least look at it now. And then what? And then what? Please, please, please. I'm always tired. I'm always weak. I'm, I'm cranky. I just want to get this baby off. No. I just, I just need your support. Please, just. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Sorry. I promise I will be more supportive husband from here now. Don't, don't tell me that. Don't, don't stop saying that. As if, as if you, you, it's right now. I should take it. Huh? You just stay for me too, as if, as if you are just the only one who, who is pregnant. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. If, really, you're using if as if you didn't know, you don't know what you did. Who were out there? You are throwing up as if, as, as, as if you pumped yourself with some. Don't, don't, don't even try. Hold, hold that thing in! What is it? Ah! What are you doing? Why are you yelling? I didn't even want to go for this picnic. You insisted. I should have just stayed back home. Wow. That's how I was feeling. No, wow. You are blaming me for taking you out on a picnic. That's that's how convenient. It's okay. I was the one who made the mistake. Uh-uh. No, it's fine now. You are blaming me for, for taking you out. But I, op I already apologized to them and they understood. Why are you the one angry? So in your mind, you feel that they are, they are fine with your apology. While I am the one who is going to live with the shame. Shame? Yes! Oh God, what are you talking about? I'm saying that we had over three other pregnant women. They didn't even speak. You are, here, you are, you are telling me that you apologize. You are, you are running. Like, mm -hmm. no, don't, don't touch me. But you know, people react to pregnancy differently. You can't compare me to those other women. Really? I'm talking to you instead of you to find a way to, 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 to address this thing. You are creating excuses for yourself. It's all right. Babe. No, it's all right. It's fine. Babe. I was the one who made you say, to ask you to come for a picnic. Now, I get to pray for you. It's all right. Hello. Listen, listen, listen. I I am done with your excuses. You see that you delivered today at the end? I am saying you delivered today or you refund my money. I'm done with your excuses. Nonsense. Good morning, Millicent. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, sorry. I, I locked the door while I was away in, in case. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, it's not um, quite thoughtful of you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Carolina, Carolina, the ever diligent cleaner. How you doing? Don't do to me, the cleaner for me. Carol, she can't talk me outside. Because how many of us stay here? The greeting to Lentina. I don't understand. Mm. Carol, how you doing? Maybe because today now I'll go to bed the night they greet like this. Today now I'll go to bed the night. Just like I say, I don't know how to do it's true. Then I need to order something in the cupboard. It's a big good way to start. Come in. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you. How, how, how did you know? Does it really matter? Uh, I'm amazed. Thank you. I am glad you feel that way. Mm. I'm still surprised uh, how you find out. Uh, it's my first gift of the day. Thank you. I am happy it's coming from me. Would you mind to unbox it? Oh, well, it's against my family tradition to unbox a gift in the presence of the one who gifted you. Hmm. You don't seem like a traditional man to me. Oh, well, there are a lot of things you don't know about me. Then, I would love to know well, I, there's a lot of work to do today, so definitely not today. I'm, I'm okay, not, not today. There's, there's just a lot of work to do. Okay. How about after work? In a lounge? Feels on me. Who are you? Hmm. You're about to find out. Enjoy the rest of your day, sir. So I actually hated nine to five job. Mm -hmm. But I was in university because of my parent. So it was for them, not for me. Okay. So, what, what was your dream? <laughs> it's actually <laughs> funny, but yeah, it was my dream. I wanted to be a footballer. <laughs> yes, I dreamt of that number 10 jersey and I played, but it didn't work out. Oh. Number two... A rapper. <laughs> I was thinking about to do some of, some of those collabs with Buster Rhyme and all that. But so what, what, what happened to those dreams? My beautiful country happened to it. A country where you can dream to be an astronaut and then you end up being um, a makeup artist or... Um, a bleaching cream influenza. And all of, I, I don't know. It, it's just crazy. <laughs> so you are so funny. You're so funny, sir. Please, can we drop the formalities? We are not in the office. <clears throat> but you are still my boss, sir. 
and we are not on official assignment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have we ever been on an official assignment outside the office? No, actually, which makes me think that, um, you know, the HR is not doing enough to find someone who is going to feel Veronica's high heels. Heels? <laughs> Why not shoes? Well, I think for gents it should be shoes and for ladies it should be high heels. Oh. I would like to step on those heels. If you let me. Hmm. You know, you've proven to be competent at your job, so I have no doubt that you can fill in those shoes conveniently. Hmm. So, <clears throat> are you saying I am now in the position of your PA? Thank you, thank okay. you. Okay, okay. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm so sorry, I'm just, I'm just so excited. It's alright. so much. You're welcome. Yeah. I've always loved to be your PA. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so excited. Just yes. <laughs> nice to work with you again. Exactly. I am so excited. I never get bored talking to you. Mm -mm, don't do that. I know I am boring. Let's, let's not even... No, 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 no. You can't be boring. You are one of the interesting person I've ever talked to. Okay, now you are patronizing me or you're being sarcastic. Sarcasm? <laughs> I don't like being sarcastic. I love to say things the way they are. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Okay, let me use the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't stay long. Don't stay right. long, okay? PA. My plan is going up fast. So we're here. Yes, and uh, neighborhood uh, looks decent. It actually is. So would you want to come in? Uh, 
Oh, no, no, no. I have to go home. You know, there's going to be more traffic on your way back. That's true. Yeah, so like you can come in and wait. I don't bite. <laughs> of course I know you don't bite. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Fine. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, All right. Let me just... Um, this is better than spending the entire time exactly. in the Let traffic. Exactly, let yeah. <laughs> Really crazy. Ah, yeah. Not available. This is strange. Get me drunk tonight. It's your birthday. Have fun. And I still have to drive home. You wish. What did you say? Oh, nothing. You know what? Enjoy your drink. I'll be right back. All right. I'm coming. Let me just change my clothes. All right. What am I doing here? Good morning, handsome. That does not answer my question. Where's my phone? Where is my phone? I don't know. Maybe you left it in the living room. Miss calls. What? Turn off airplane mode? 
I never get bored talking to you. Mm -mm, don't do that. I know I am boring. Let's let's not even. No 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 no. You can't be boring. You are one of the interesting person I have ever talked to. Okay, now you are patronizing me, or you're being sarcastic. Sarcasm. I don't like being sarcastic. I love to say things the way they are. Mm. 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 Yes. Okay, let me use the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't stay long. Don't stay right. long, okay? PA. My plan is going on fast. What have you done? I wanted us to have a private moment. What do you mean our private moment? As if we were an item. I thought we were building chemistry. What chemistry? You and who? How? When? I love you, Osazi. I do. Do you mean you love me? I am married, remember? But it didn't mean a thing to you when you were on my bed last night making love to me. I didn't... I don't remember a thing that happened last night. I remember! I remembered. I remember all the kisses, all the love. <laughs> You're sick and you should get help. Jeez! I'm so sorry. I can explain. I was at the office and by w when I was Give done... Give your explanation to yourself. I don't need it. Thank you so much for wasting my time. Happy birthday, husband. Yes, come in. I didn't hear you come in. Um, yes, sir. I was with the HR. With the HR for what? 
I went to submit my pre resignation letter, sir. Your pre resignation letter? Yes, sir. The letter you submitted. I one. know what the letter is. <laughs> Hello, Rotin. Good morning. How are you? I would like you to ignore the letter Millicent sent to you. Yes. Thank you. So, what are you doing? I read your apology letter. Apology accepted. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So, what's the file about? Oh, this is a JL and a cluster file, sir. Oh, that's true. We need to send them a brief. It's, it's been long. Oh, I've already done that. I did that this morning. JL has already sent me their acknowledgement, and if I don't hear from cluster before midday, I will send them a reminder. See why it is easy to forgive you? Um, sorry sir, please if I may ask. Yeah. Yeah, go on. How are things going on at home? I would call you back by 2 p.m. to confirm the schedule, sir. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day, sir. He said we should meet with him at the club today by 7. Sir. Sir! Yes, um, sorry. Uh, what did you say? I said. He said we should meet at the club today by 7 p.m. 7 p.m.? That is very late. He's our client and we need the money. And we are offering the services. Exactly! That is why we should meet with him. Okay. So... What thought has been distracting you lately? Nothing much. I'm just uh, trying to find a perfect gift for my wife. Still apologizing and I, that's the only way I know how she's still not talking to me. I am deeply sorry. It, it's all my fault. No, no, no. She will stop apologizing. As guilty as you are, just, just don't know what to do. Is this? Is she still insisting to find out who you were with? Yeah. And there's no way I am telling her that. I know my wife. If she finds out, it will break her. And I don't want that for her. Just. This thing is just crazy. So have you found the, the gift? The what gift? Mm. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Ah, let me just uh, continue searching. Are you okay? Oh, is that time of the month? Yes, and the pain is crazy this time. <clears throat> so sorry. All right, call and cancel the meeting. No, you don't have to. You you can leave without me. <clears throat> so sorry. Um, are you 
you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. We have a deal to finalize. Okay. All right. So get your things. Let me. My my my. I already ordered a cab. He'll be here any moment from now. You need to leave so that you don't miss your appointment. You'll be fine, right? Yes, yes, I will be fine. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Um, okay. Strong for her now. Come on, you can't keep. You can't keep sucking up like this. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for that meeting. I should have stayed home. I should have stayed with her. Look, you know I can blame you for many things, but not this one. You were out there fending for your family. I was making money. Yes, but breaking my home. Now she has lost our baby. And I wasn't there to protect her. Food is ready. I'm not hungry. You've not eaten anything for three days now. You know what, um, I'll make sure you eat, okay? It's fine. Thank you. And that is your secretary? She doubles as my 
PA. Mm. That explains why she's here, right? What are you not saying? Look, I understand she is your secretary, and she would be in your space sometimes. But she should have exemptions for some cases. So you feel she should not be here? Sass. I keep telling you these things. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. They don't mix. Always remember that. Stop, what are you doing? I'm trying to help you. Help me, am, am I crippled? Why are you treating me like a child? The doctor said The that doctor said what? Hmm? Osaze? The doctor said what? That, that I should render myself useless? That I shouldn't do anything for myself? Is that what the doctor said? Why are you angry? Why am I angry? Really? Why am I angry? Is that even a question? Okay, sorry. See, I regret the day I met you. I regret the day I took this stupid ring. I regret the day I said yes to you in front of friends, family, and the law. I, I hate you and I don't want to see. So stay out of my way. Please. You can have the ring to yourself. Where are you going now? You're, you're just, I don't want to. She's still not talking to me. She now sleeps in the guest room. My wife now avoids me like a plague. <clears throat> so you, you need to give her space. These things take time. You need to give her time to heal. Truly, hell had no fury like a woman scorned. So, you need to be strong with this period. Okay, we have mega jobs coming up that would make us big. We can screw things up. Nothing seems to matter anymore. You, know. you will beat this. I show you. What is this? You need to see this. Millicent, um, just, um, not now. This will make you smile. I'll show you. I'll see it later, okay? I, I, I can't actually focus right now. Okay, but, but you have to promise me one thing that you will see it before the end of work. It's kind of Okay. Okay. How did you do this? Do what? The. How did you pull up this contract? I told you it was going to make you smile. Are you crazy? I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry for my choice of word. I, I mean, this did not make me smile. This put me over the moon. I, oh my God. I wasn't expecting this kind of reaction, honestly. We have not had this kind of deal sealed in like forever. This? Okay, so what you're saying now is that I just need to sign the dotted lines and... Uh, this five hundred thousand yes. dollars deal is ours. Yes, that's what you're saying. Yes. Oh, damn. Okay, we need to go and celebrate. Are you sure about that? 
Are you telling me no? No, I'm going to Okay, do you need to get something? Do you need to get let, let me get my um my bag? <laughs> I think she would love it. <laughs> and you should get your adrenaline high tonight because it's going to be special. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I uh, just can't wait to see how the lingerie will look on her. <laughs> You'll be amazed. What is it? I'm just thinking what if she refuses to wear it then permit me to say that she's far gone and you need more than a miracle to bring her back <sighs> okay okay then let me let me go home now and see what fate has in stock for me okay all right, you need to go home. All right. Good night. Good night. There is a need to um, probability that you are going to live here alive. And I don't think you want to die of starvation. So you better start eating.
What is this? Honestly, I am sorry. I know I messed up. But believe me when I say that I was in the meeting when you called me. It was official business meeting, very important. What stupid business meeting was that? That you could not pick your wife's call? So the, your meeting was more important to you than me, your own wife? Hey, I had my phone on a silent mode, so I didn't even hear it ring. You know what? Save it. I don't believe a word that comes out of that your mouth, and I don't even want to hear it. Newsflash, I don't care. Oma, I am sorry. Oh, what? Oma? The name is Ozioma. Just save the pet's name for your side chick when she finally moves in. What, what side chick are we talking about? I mean, there's no side there's chick no, anywhere. Oh, wow, there's no side chick anywhere. You know what? The divorce papers will be ready tomorrow. Please, I beg you. Once they come, do the right thing and sign them without any issue. What am I even saying? Like you even know how to do the right thing. Where is divorce paper coming now? What, what, what are we talking from about? From you like... being a cheat and from your negligence. I'm done. She wants a divorce. As I'm talking to you now, divorce people is at home waiting for me. What? Why does my instinct keep telling me that there's more to this cheese to tell me? What are you not saying? I, I cheated. I cheated on Homer. Jesus. Jesus. Sounds. Did she catch you past now, this lady? Or did she probably somehow bumped into you, this said person in a hotel? As it is now, it's just a speculation. Your wife, that I know. I cannot be second divorce based on mere speculations. What's that? She's too smart to act stupid. I don't know. I really don't know. The thought of losing her is killing me. I, I can't even imagine my life without her. I think you would. What? Are you are you are, are you playing? No, 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 come on. Do you want, that would not give her the valid reason to leave me. She is leaving you. Valid or not. So tell her. So she's leaving him already. Clearly the odds are in my favor. <laughs> I am the right one for him. Oh, it's just a matter of time before he knows, before he discovers that I'm here. And he should better sign those, those papers. You're leaving, sir. I'll be leaving now. There is something very important I need to deal with. Okay, so do you need me to come with you? No, it's personal. And I am your personal assistant, sir. This is very personal. Okay, sir. So. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm still the woman of your dreams. 
I knew something was wrong. All I wanted was for you to tell me the truth. I was scared. Scared to tell me the truth. But you're not scared to cheat on me? Really? For God's sake! I was in the kitchen, slaving my life away, making you something nice so I can show you how special your day is to me. But no, I didn't know that you had other plans. You chose your secretary over your own wife? No. Come on, really? That, I did not plan that. Never was it in my plan. She just offered to take me out for a drink and it was supposed and to be And then you magically appeared in her house. No, she hypnotized you, right? And you mistakenly fell into her bed. Tell me something else, please. What happened was, I, I can't even explain everything that happened. Trust me, I can't. I just, all I could remember was we were at her house and we shared a drink and the next morning I was I was in her bed. That, that, that was all I could remember. You're a liar! Am I, am I supposed to believe that? Really? Am I, am I supposed to believe that? Do I look like a fool to you? You liar! He's not lying. I know I wasn't there, but I've known this big head here. Your husband from childhood and if there's anything I know about him is his faithfulness. I mean, he could be carefree, reckless, very stubborn, but never unfaithful. Well, you just admitted to not being there, so how would you know? Have I ever, ever lied to you before? No. I've always respected you for being upright and modest. I... Look. I know you're very hot right now. Considering everything that has happened. But I can guarantee you, as well as assure you, that everything he just said is totally true. I have... I have decided to come clean. Why would I want to dilute it with some fairy tales i was wrong but i just i just wish i had done some things differently and i'm sorry i don't even know what to say to you but a lot has happened i need to process everything you really hurt me I lost my child. I almost lost my life because of your foolishness. I'm going to need time to think everything through. Please. I, I understand. I understand why you, you need to do what you need to do. It's, it's, it's fine. Termination of appointment. Now I know you weren't expecting it, but that is the right thing to do. Besides, she knows the truth about what happened between us. She does? Yes, she does. And she forgives you? Oh, well, not yet. But I'm hopeful that we will sort out of whatever the issue is. So you can understand why I did this. So I am the sacrificial lamb, right? You don't need to take it that way. I understand that you feel sorry for your actions, but I have to do what I have to do. I need to save my home and protect my marriage. But don't worry, I'll, I'll get you a fantastic job recommendation if you need anyone. I don't need a little recommendation, Osazi. Trust me, you will need one. You're going to get a job. 
So you would definitely need one and I will be of help. Oh, all I need is you. What did you say? I came here to work for you. Because I love you, Osaze. It's so sad that you don't remember me. But from the first day you walked into Excel Fit Gym, I'd fallen in love with you. You worked at Excel Fit Gym? Yes. My father owns the place. Tumba Oega is your father? Yes, he's my dad. Oh, there's no way. A multi multimillionaire like no, 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 there's no way he is your father and you're here working for me as a PA and a secretary. I did this because I wanted to be close to you. I love you, Osas. I know that's what your friends call you at the gym. This is not a coincidence. Everything is not a coincidence. I just wanted to be looking for a moment where I was spending time in your arms. What? She, she told you all of this? I'm serious. It was like a dream. Otumba Boega's daughter, working as my secretary and PA, just to be close to me. Obsession. No, no way. That's not possible. So if it's not obsession, then what do you, what do you call that? A girl will leave behind all the luxury associated with her family name and come down to your level just to be with you. I mean, what exactly do you call that? What, what do you mean my level? You talk about my level as if I am some pauper. What, what exactly is that guy? You know, get money. As a matter of fact, when compared to the boy guys, you're a pauper. If I were you right now, I, I should be very, very worried. Why should I? She already left. Get sense now, guy. You think people like that just walk away? This girl is clearly obsessed about you. And you think she just up and leave? If you don't know what's coming for you, then you better wake up. This, this whole thing is it's adding up. What's adding up? From nowhere, from nowhere, we got a $500,000 deal that we didn't beat for. Exactly. And in your mind, you felt manners were beginning to fall from heaven. Abby? <laughs> What's that? Whenever you start tapping your finger that way, that means some weird thoughts starting to play in your head. Let's start. I think that she might have something to do with Oma falling down the stairs. Ah, that can be possible. You know, somehow, she found an excuse not to attend a very important meeting. Not excuses, her menstrual cramps. So, I mean, I am married, and I know women always have it very painful when they are on their period. Oh no, not Millicent, not Millicent. Uh, that day, when I called the security guy to confirm if the diesel has been supplied, he told me that she was still at the office. 
and he knew that because she ordered pizza and um, she was listening to loud music in her office you don't say yes i do say and and come to think of it i Good afternoon. Who are you to look for? How are you? Fine, fine. Um, please, I'm looking for your boss. My boss? Yes. You mean my ogre? Uh, yes, your ogre. Which ogre? Is it ogre, madam, Abi, ogre ma? Ogre ma. Ogre ma? Yes. Ah, <laughs> ogre ma no dey around. Ogre ma no dey around. You know we see ogre ma. Why now? I say ogre ma no dey around. Ogre ma don't travel. He traveled. When when did he travel? I don't know. But don't travel. I don't know the time when you travel, but don't travel. Don't travel. I carry him back. Go. Sure you hear me? Yes. <laughs> but why you want to open the door by yourself, sir? Okay. Um what about the madam? Yes. Oh, she's the only one inside. Yes. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Yes. Ah, oh, no. Anything for me? No. Ah. Anything for me? No. I, I can't just sit here and do nothing. I'm now convinced more than ever that she was the same person who broke in here and tried to kill me. I'm just saying, if she tried to kill me before, she would want to do it again. I think it's time we settle this once and for all. I know exactly what to do. Please don't pretend like you don't know who I am. I was thinking you have the opportunity of introducing yourself. As what? The wife to your former boss? Or the woman you tried to kill so that you can marry her husband to satisfy your fantasy? Which one? Hmm? I don't know what you're saying. You don't know what I'm saying? Yes. Look me eyeball to eyeball and deny it, you coward. Deny it! Deny that you don't know what I'm talking about! I can see that you are hallucinating. Hey, before you came, I was busy. Oh, wow! Really, princess? You're busy? Well, I'm about to make your day even more interesting, you slut. Watch what you say. You are in my house! I am in your house. <laughs> oh, so, so this is the said house, huh? In your house, right? The same house you brought my husband. Let's just drink so that you could have sex with him to satisfy your fetish obsession. Don't you have any shame, you, you, you shameless slut? Where do you think you're going to? I'm still talking to you. Where do you think you're going to? Talk to me, woman to woman. Oh, now you can't talk? Wow, well, cat, catch your tongue? You can't talk? Face me! And stop running around looking for people to kill. Face me! See? I am not going to warn you again. <laughs> I'm still talking to you, princess. Stay here! You met with the wrong woman. Do you know why I'm here? I came here to look at your stupid face one last time because you're going to spend the rest of your miserable days in jail for trying to kill me and for killing my unborn child. I will make you suffer! I will make you 
regret when you ever met me or my husband. You think I'm playing with you? You think I'm joking? Time to rant because I know the stupid stuff is going to end up here. You have such a man to show up at my place. <laughs> Just. Oh, you're surprised. <laughs> I understand. Very little, right? You know, I needed to get her out of the way so I could get the job. I have nothing against her. She's just a collateral damage. But I have something against you! You! You don't have to. Oh my god. You got married to my Osasi. My, how did he even find you? Me. Me. If you talk, I am a good I am a good <coughs> See how I have. I will just say. See. Let me tell you something. How do you get here? Oh my God, it's going to find you. <coughs> See, you're doing stunts today, and no one, no one's gonna find you. And you know what? You'll be right. I missed his drink. That night, I did it. And you know what? I had him where I wanted him to be in my arms. I wasn't gonna let that go. You see, if you were in my shoes, you'd have done the same thing. You witch! <laughs> I have loved him from the very first day I saw him. I led to the land of luxury to be with Osazi. You great witcher! And I'm never gonna let him go. And no woman will come in between us. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you here. <coughs> Better behave yourself. No one's gonna find you. <coughs> but it's that day you appear in my office. And you make love to my office. When I was sitting, I just said to that office. I don't have time. He was You're crazy. You are mad. You shut the mouth. Where is my head? To be here, she doesn't even know where I stay. Oh, she doesn't know where you stay. She took your address from my phone, so don't even play that card. I ask you again, where is my wife? Like I said, she's not even here. Maybe she ran away with another man. Yeah, right. But she has an own obsession, just like you have for for us here, right? Here. I wasn't even talking to you. 
do you really think any one of us care about your opinion right now? Hey, you cannot barge into my house without a warrant. Sorry, madam. My name is Inspector Okonbrasi from Mr. CID. So, where is your warrant? Okay, since you asked for it. There you go. I still need to confirm if this is genuine. You can let yourself out. Yourself out. Please. She's not. She's not there. And she's not even here. Please, you all should leave. Did anyone of you hear that? Hear yeah, what? Your ears are playing tricks on you. You are not hearing anything. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. You hear? Hey! Your ears! Your ears are playing tricks on you. Why, why is this door locked? Open this door. You guys Open the door! No. Open the damn door! I'm not going to say the door. Hello guys, Jesus, let's go. You know you, you don't even have the right to arrest me. I need to call my lawyer. Please I'm so sorry I brought all this trouble to us. It's okay, no one is perfect. Now, I'm beginning to think that we are going to get into a lot of trouble for your good looks. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's not only crying to have good looks? I think it is. Okay, so I need to go to the surgery and have my face look like a baboon. Hey! And the zoo. <laughs> you will not there. I love you. I love you more. Sorry, my Thank <laughs> you.